Hi guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Reunion Resort in Orlando today. It's a bit nice, isn't it? In the sunshine. It's gorgeous. So we're down here on the driving range, film some tips just because we've got some grass to hit from. So I think that's really important that I do some tips actually talking about how we hit off this, this green stuff. I don't always get to see back home. <laughs> so I thought I'd take massive advantage. We're going to do film some really important tips. Myself and Pete Finch done some course vlogs. We're going to done some uh, testing down at the demo day. This is all about how do we take divots. How do we strike the ball first and then take the floor after? You know, like the pros do, like the good players do. And it's really important we do this to get the quality of the connection that we're after. So I've got a 7-iron here at the moment, and we're going to talk about, I would, I'm going to give the information about how I feel you can strike the ground after the ball. So hitting the ball first, floor after, and taking that elusive divot that some people want to take, a lot of people want to take. So the first thing I would always aim to achieve when trying to make a divot is making sure the middle of your golf swing or the middle of your body doesn't move too far to the right or left. Now the issue with moving too far right or left laterally is that the bottom of your swing will also move right or left. And then you can't strike it well. You can't judge where that club is going to actually bottom out and hit the floor. So my first piece of advice, I'm, like I said, I'm just hitting a seven iron here. I would generally keep the ball just in front of centre and I would keep my sternum, where my zip is here on my, on my jacket, more to the left of the golf ball. So trying to keep the sternum to the left of the golf ball during the actual swing itself as well will encourage the strike to happen after the shot. So I'm going to keep my sternum more to the left and it will encourage my centre of gravity to move to the left as I hit the shot and then my club will actually bottom out after the shot. And that is honestly what we're after. If we can get that to work, brilliant. This is for kind of mid irons. Might do some long iron stuff as well and some three work work, three wood work while we've got the luxury of the grass, but this is with a, just a mid iron. So, set up, ball position just in front of the setup for a seven iron. I'm keeping my weight more to the left. So I'm feeling like my, the middle of my swing is actually happening about here. And I'm gonna try and keep the middle of my swing there. So I'm not gonna navigate my body to the right because that'll open up all this area where I'm gonna hit the ball fat. Then from there, get the feeling that we are delivering the club in a slightly downward manner. So trying to get the club to hit down into the ball. Central gravity to the left and then down into the ball. And if we can do that, we hit the ball first, as you saw there. The ball was there and then we hit the ground after. Let's try it again. Sternum to the left. I'm going to keep it to the left and I'm going to strike down into the ball. See there again, ball first, floor after. I'm going to do an example here now. If I do move my body weight to the right, so if I move my body weight away from the ball, away from the middle line, I'm going to hit the ground more here, more behind. I'm going to show you that here on the video as well. So if I just do this shot, so that's where my ball position is. I'm going to move my body weight onto my right foot. Now, unless I massively move left again, I can imagine fatting this shot. Now I've hit the ball because it's quite a hard pan surface, but the ball was there and I hit way behind the ball, way behind. Now off anything that's not hard pan surface, that's going to be dead. That is absolutely dead. So guys, key tips, weight more to the left, ball position just in front of centre, and then get the feeling that you're striking down into the back of the ball. Weight to the left, down into the ball, and keep that weight fixed, not moving to the right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll do some more series off the grass. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.